Yeah, and honestly, I do kind of want to end up doing some reviews on some of this stuff. I just amassed just so much over the years. It's about five years worth of collecting. And I have this stuff. I'm just not a good video maker. But I hope to get better. So I just got my little setup. Got some 64 down there. Some more NES. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can do something. All right, here's the final bit of stuff. It's gonna be a box Nintendo 64. It's really nice seeing one of these. Got the purchase date. And I got this for about 40 bucks. Really nice. And then next up is a Switch Lite. Bought this for my wife's birthday. And I still haven't gave it to her. So maybe sometime next month she'll get that. Then for the Switch games, I got Super Mario 3D All-Stars. You can't go wrong with this pack. The only thing is it didn't come with Mario Galaxy 2. That would have been pretty nice. Then Cadence of Hyrule. For a rhythm game, you know, I thought I wouldn't like it, but I feel like an hour in and it actually gets pretty good. And then here's a game I probably won't play. It's got Mystery Dungeon. This doesn't look appealing, but as a collector, I just, I needed it. And I bought this for a trip. You can't go wrong with the Final Fantasies. But after my trip, I pretty much stopped playing both of them. Got Hyrule Warriors. If you're on the fence about this one, pick it up. If you have a friend to play with, it is really enjoyable. Pretty long game too, if you do everything. Then I got Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. 3D World, awesome game. Bowser's Fury, a lot of people liked it, but it wasn't for me, it was pretty I thought that was pretty dull. And then this game I can't wait to open. Street for, uh, Streets of Rage 4. Definitely a fun beat em up game. What about Mario Kart Live Home Circuit? Haven't opened up this one yet. I just bought it today. Oh, it looks pretty fun. Honestly, I can only see myself playing this like twice, just because it's going to get stale. Then I got a filler. So this is more like a Mortal Kombat game. I wanted the one that was like Streets of Rage. But overall, this game's hard as shit. Then I got Robocop vs. Terminator, another gem. This game's pretty hard. As a kid, I thought this was impossible, but going back and playing this, it's not, it's not as hard as I thought. And then the final Sega game, this is a true gem. This goes for about 80 to like 140. And if you haven't played it, or if you're looking for the physical copy, definitely worth picking up. Very fun game, and I'm glad I found it. And then I have the final stack. The first Ninja Gaiden. Kid Icarus. Double Dragon 2. Kirby's Adventure. Mega Man 2 which I'm very terrible at the Mega Man games. But eventually I want to try to beat them. 
the OG Metroid. Here's another one I need to beat is Contra. I heard it's really hard, but playing the first level really wasn't that bad. Another game I need to beat is Punch Out. The original Bomberman, which honestly, it, it sucks. Wasn't that fun and it looks pretty ancient. Donkey Kong Classics. And then my final game is Castlevania, which is another pretty fun game for the NES. Yeah, so um, I'll probably do another one once I a pile of a bunch of shit again so thanks for watching